is what do we put on these guitars, some of the older ones? Well, um, we use something called nitrocellulose, something that they used in the 50s when the guitars were originally being painted by Fender. Um, I put it over into mason jars because it's easier to use, but it comes from Sherwin Williams. There's no big secret. Uh, this is the brand you want to buy. Uh, it's a T70C60. Hard to find, uh, but taste it in time. And I use the 3M PPS system. And I've got my respirator off right now so I can show you this. This is a 22 ounce spray cup. Same kind of stuff they use in the automotive. Um, we just use it specifically for spraying our nitro. Off the top on. And this is a liner that just kind of drops down inside. Hey, pop it up a little. And I think it is. So I'm going to change the liner. Okay. So we have them up in a few different sizes. Here's a 22. There's a built-in filter inside of this, uh, 200 micro. And all I'm going to do, we'll save the cap because we can use that over again. But sometimes they get kind of funky and you don't want it to pop off because you don't want to waste all the goodies that are here. Just be real cautious with that, pour it over, okay, because there's nothing really supporting it. And then we'll pull the liner out, just like that. And then we'll drop this liner into there, just like that. Okay. And now we've got a nice clean connection that we can kind of pop this on. And you can see it just kind of snap in place. Now, everything is different for folks. People paint with different kinds of guns. Uh, I'm a Sada fan. Uh, same stuff that they use for automotive stuff. These guns are about, I don't know, this is a 4400B. It's HVLP, okay, high volume, low pressure. Uh, I think this gun was about 450 ballpark, something like that. I, I may be mistaken. I know it's 4, 4, 450, something like that. I keep all the connection pieces and covers and stuff because they're so expensive. And I only shoot clear with this gun. Okay, the one that I use for paint is identical, but it's for paint. So we're going to pop this in, and that's it. Quarter of a turn, it's locked in place, so we're ready to go. Now I need to put my respirator on, and then I'll give you a whirl. Now, we paint a body. First thing I'm going to do is I've got our compressor downstairs. I want to bring all the pressure up out of this. Pull it upside down, just pull the trigger. We're going to bring that up into the gun. Now we're ready. I can adjust my spray pattern. We'll put them here, we'll allow them to get the dust cap. As you can see, it's done pretty much what I want to do. Doesn't take much. Now I've got my spray where I want it. These are set up so that we have full flow of the paint going out of the gun. Okay? And we adjust it with the fan here. And of course, just over time with the pressure. Good luck, baby. This is the one we're going to do the copper lining with. Okay? And, you know, paintings that aren't like anything else. I've been very fortunate. I've learned from some great people. There's a main ways to paint. I'll show you the way I paint. I'm just going to start here, and I'm going to try and keep my gun the same location distance-wise. Go around the body. Holding your gun the same distance as you go around. I like to do that just first. Again, that's just me. And then I'll do the back. Same distance all the way down. Overlap about 50% as you come back. Same thing on this side. Nice and slow. Don't want to rush it, but you don't want so much paint so that it's going to run or leave a big blocky spot on there. That's it. That's one coat. I'll do three coats a day. Let it sit. Uh, sand it. Come back and do three more. 
Wait a day, sand it, do three more. So we'll end up with nine coats on this. That's it, Santa, nitrocellulose, back guitars. Take care.